This is letter D on thermochemistry on page four of it, page four. So um, C, D, E are all kind of similar. D is probably the longest, hardest one that's on there. So um, this is the heating curve of ice into steam, ice into steam. So if we think about it right here at negative 10, we've got some ice. Here the ice is getting warmer, getting warmer, getting warmer, getting warmer, getting warmer. Once we get to that spot right there, it starts to melt. At zero degrees, ice starts to melt. And as ice is melting, it's still absorbing heat. It's still endothermic. Heat is going into it, still gaining so many joules of heat, but the temperature doesn't change. So that's called the heat of fusion, the amount of heat it takes to make ice melt. And the heat of fusion for ice is six kilojoules per mole. I got to add in six kilojoules per mole of ice to make it melt. So if I got two moles of ice, it takes 12 kilojoules. I got five moles of ice, it takes 30 kilojoules of heat. If I want to know the heat right here to go up there, that would be Q equals MC delta T to figure out how much heat it takes to change temperature for ice. And ice has a different specific heat than water. If I want to know right here how much heat this takes, I got to take my moles times the heat of fusion. So in this second spot, I have to go my temperature change or enthalpy change would be my moles times the heat of fusion. I'm supposed to say fusion. Heat from this circle to this circle, we now have a liquid that is heating up. So I would do Q equals MC delta T there to see how much heat the water absorbs as it changes temperature from zero to 100 degrees. Once water gets to 100, it starts to boil. So this would be something called the heat of vaporization, which is in kilojoules per mole. And it's about 40 kilojoules per mole to make water boil. So every mole of water I have, I got to put 40 kilojoules of heat into it to make a boil. So from here to here, we're still adding heat. Temperature's not changing. I can't do Q equals MC delta T. I got to use the heat of vaporization, which is in kilojoules per mole. I figure out how much heat the water's absorbing while it's boiling. And then we have some steam getting hotter. And I could do Q equals MC delta T right there to see how much heat that steam is gaining to go from 100 to 140 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> so this is actually pretty much the, uh, the problem that we are doing right here. So I'll go back to your notes. So it's going to be a several step process. I bet a five step process to figure all these out. Okay, so first step we're gonna have is, our first step we're gonna do Q equals MC delta T for the ice. Ice is just getting hotter. Okay, ice is just getting hotter. And it's gonna go from negative 20 to zero degrees. At zero, it's gonna to start to melt. Make it 20 up to zero. Um, specific heat ice is 2.09. Uh, the mass we have is 125. So we're going to go 125 grams. Specific heat is 2.09 for ice. And our change in temperature going from negative 20 to 20 is a 20 degree temperature change. One second here. All right. Um, and this is all going to be an endothermic process. We're starting with ice, which is really cold, going up to steam, which is really hot. So we're adding heat that whole time. So everything's going to be positive. So uh, if we do this, remember this is in joules. We can understand the heat's in joules. So this is going to be in joules. So it is 5,225 joules. I'm going to put everything in kilojoules. 5.225 kilojoules. Again, all that is is the heat we're adding to make the ice go from negative 20 up to zero. So we put in that many kilojoules to make it do that. Uh, our step two, step two is going to be ice melting. Ice to water, which means we need to know the heat of fusion, six kilojoules per mole. I got to put in six kilojoules for every mole of ice to make it melt. So now I don't need grams, now I need moles. I don't need a temperature change. So my enthalpy change here is going to be the heat of fusion times my number of moles. So six kilojoules per mole times however many moles I have. 
Well, 125 grams of ice divided by 18 grams, that's what a mole of, of water is, is um, 6.94 moles. So delta H there is, notice this is in kilojoules, whereas this over here is in joules. Um, our delta H there is 52 point, 52.3 kilojoules. So we've added in about 57 and a half kilojoules so far. Five of those kilojoules made the ice go from negative 20 up to zero. 52 kilojoules to make that ice melt still at zero degrees Celsius. Temperature has not changed. Okay, still zero degrees Celsius. Um, third step. Third step is going to be the water going from zero degrees to 100 degrees. Water going from zero degrees to 100 degrees. So I'm going to go Q equals MC delta T for that. Um, still 125 grams, 4.18, and 100 degrees. So our Q there is, whoops, I had this last Q wrong, sorry. This Q is not right back here. That's 41.67. I looked at the wrong one. Um, this one is 52.25 kilojoules. Remember when you get an answer there? That's going to be in joules. I had to convert that into kilojoules. So I'm keeping these all in kilojoules. Two more steps. Two more steps. Um, step number four. We're now at 100 degrees. Now our water is going to start to boil. Okay, it's going to start to boil, which requires the heat of vaporization. You add in 40.7 kilojoules per mole. So our delta H here will be 40.7 kilojoules per mole times our number of moles times 6.94 moles. That will be the temperature or the amount to make it vaporize. That's 282.5 kilojoules. Notice that is a huge amount. You think about boiling a whole pan of water, you have to heat it for a long, long time to make it boil off completely. And the fifth step here, usually we wouldn't do all five of these steps, made this one long. Fifth step here would be the vapor going from 100 degrees to 140 degrees. So going 40 degrees up would be our vapor. So we're going to go Q equals MC delta T for the vapor. 125 grams. Specific heat of the vapor is 1.84. Remember that is in joules. And we're going up 40 degrees. And that amount is 9.2 kilojoules. So remember, when you do that one, it's going to be in joules. you got to convert it into kilojoules. Add all those kilojoules up. About 391 kilojoules total. 391 to make 391 kilojoules to make ice at negative 20, heat up to zero and melt, heat up to 100 and boil, and heat up to 140 as steam. You have to add in that much heat to make that happen. Long problem, tough to do.